We've just taken down another dragon while growing through Grudavagen. Now in this area, this is going to be a confusing area. Now check a look at... Shit, hold on. Yeah, take a look at the map. That is not particularly helpful to us. What we have to do is find a way to get through Gate Scorpio. So, I'm gonna go run around a little bit and try to see if I can find a way to get through here. And these hidden passages are going to be where we're gonna have to be running up and down at. You will encounter some enemies in this area, but they won't be as relentless as they were in areas previous. Hmm. Kill that thing. Kill it now! Not so many enemies here. I guess they are, uh, more of them coming up ahead, but, ah, uh, jeez, it's a treasure chest. I hope that's a good, I hope it's a good treasure, and I hope it's a good trap. It was not a good trap. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's try this again. Heh, that was funny. This should cure everybody at once. Bam! Massive magic use. Yeah, that was worth it. Oh, I guess it really was, considering all I needed was magic to get my characters back up to power. Gate Scorpio. We need to find the Scorpio switch, and that is located down this way. Now notice as we're progressing along, the map is not helping us at all. Uh, okay, this is not where we're going to find it. Oh, we obtained a Morning Star. Moving on. Come on, come on. Where is this damn thing? Okay, there it is. Well, that's a teleport stone. I guess a teleport stone's not bad. Wait, waystone. My bad. Waystone. What was that? Seven? Uh, I gotta go left, or I can go right. I'm gonna go right. Actually, I think they both lead to the same place. Oh, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go down the middle. Middle it up. Or rather, go up the middle. Why? Because there's a treasure chest in this area, and we all love treasure. Alright, they're dead. Treasure chest? Not a rust, damn it. Well, remember that's randomized what you're gonna get by doing this. Uh no, hold on. The gate stone I need is over in the other direction. Can't so you can't keep track of where you're going by map to pin the butt. And the areas that you're going through, I mean, when you put all these different areas together, it's not exactly a small area that you have to keep track of. Oh, jeez, these damn things. Alright. Let's do this thing. Haste up. It's weird that the legs are all bow leg and stuff. Yes, hit that rock with your sword, that makes sense. And let's throw the switch. Cancer Gate Stone. Wait, did I throw the switch twice? Whatever.
Throw him back up. And... Friggin' Reaper. Wow, that's an ugly son of a bitch. Look at that. Come on, Fran, join in. Oh, Vaughn's got to stop on him. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm gonna move past this thing and keep going. Killing time. Dark Crystal. Oh, the same shield. Looks a little goofy. Alrighty, Waystone. Pisces. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Ah, oh, Vaughn's got doom status on him. <laughs> Damn monsters. Down we go. So much running, no one walks anywhere anymore. So impatient. There we go, we'll just walk for the rest of the episode. Ah, never mind. Okay, there is a gate switch here, and there's another gate, but I'm not gonna worry about the, the gate at the moment. The gate switch will not be opening up this gate. Okay, they're dead. Hit the switch. And, uh, just remember that this is here. Gate Ares! And now we're gonna run back up. I'm trying to spread the experience around to my other characters is a real pain in the ass since these two aren't particularly useful. But I've complained about this beforehand. It's nothing new! I had to, I put in a, a, like a two or three week break between when I recorded this and when I recorded the episode that came before this. That was, um, kill this thing, or wait for it to show up, then kill it. What's that about? And the gates, gateway stone disappears when this thing passes in front of it, that's weird. I guess there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, hold on. Do I need to hit the waystone? Or do I need to... Oh, I gotta go up. It can take a while to work your way through here. It's a bomb! This is definitely not the way I came, though. Treasure chest. Holy Lance. I think I needed to use the gauge stone. I kind of got lost. Got turned around. It was nice to get a nice uh, weapon every once in a while. Waystone 4. Um. 
Ah, I kind of made a jump ahead, but here we are. I've never seen this much mist. Are you all right? I'm fine. Thank you. Is that Nethocyte? I wonder. With that much Nethocyte in one's grasp. You could destroy all of Ivalice if you wished it. Okay, so that is a gigantic piece of Nethocyte, and Ash just died. That is a gigantic piece of Nethocyte. It's the same material that the Dawn Shard, the Midnight Shard, and the Dusk Shard were made up of. And we've already seen the kind of damaging abilities that a piece of Nethocyte could potentially um, unleash on a bunch of people. But, of course, the... We had to wonder where the Nethocyte had come from. Where did the Dynast King manage to get three pieces of Nethocyte, something of such power? And apparently this is where he had gotten it from. Save point. I would wonder why, if he had the power to take even more Nethocyte, why he stopped at three pieces. But, uh, whatever. There's a lot more. Maybe we'll get some more. Waystone 1. So this is what Sid meant when he said we might get another piece at Nethocyte. Oh, this place looks freaky. Okay, this son of a bitch will try silencing our characters. So I'm going to try and buff up all of my characters as quickly as possible. They all have the haste ability, I think. If I can very least get that up, I'll be in good shape. Don't attack or anything like that. Uh, I don't want to... I want to maintain enough magic to do a a good um, quickening chain later on though, so be careful about that. Probably should have done this before I got in here, when I was at the save point. That would have been the smart thing, wouldn't it have been? Okay, just one more shell. There it is. Okay, other than that, this is an Esper. You can hear the Esper music. So let's just, uh, if we kill this thing, we'll get another Esper. So let's, let's do that shit. Is he siphoning away my magic? Oh, okay, Bosch has been silenced. Not that I was going to cast a lot of magic with that bitch anyway. Oh, Ash still has magic. Nice. Having characters like I have... Balfir set up right now with the ability to throw high potions instead of just um, instead of just using magic to heal it could be quite useful in during this battle. Ha! Huh, blocked flare attack. I'm running around the enemy just so I can restore his MP and I can unleash a powerful quickening chain. This thing, I'm actually doing pretty good fighting it, so I'll probably unleash a quickening chain if I need to in a few seconds. If it manages to buff itself up so much that it starts kicking my ass, I'll unleash a quickening chain. But right now, I'm pretty sure I have this fight in the bag. Thank you, Ash. Thank you for not getting silenced. I guess she's staying far enough away from the battle that she didn't get 
affected by any, like, silence go effects. Like the area of effect silence attacks. You see, it hit Vaughn, it would have hit Bosh if it wasn't already silenced, but it didn't hit Ash because she was far enough away to avoid it. Which is an example of where... Ah, shit, she's down. Where ranged... Ranged, um... Abilities are useful. Okay, there you are. Now, stay the hell away. <laughs> oh, Bosh is down. Oh, so close. Okay. It, this thing is kicking our asses. So we're gonna we're gonna do this the easy way. Actually we haven't seen Franz level three yet. Let's start with that. It ends now. Does it? Sounds constipated. That was underwhelming. All three of the characters I have in the party right now have level 3 quickenings, so I might be able to get the max level out of this. I doubt it, because my MP wasn't completely full, but it's a chance. Pyroplasm! I've noticed with Balthier's level 3 quickening on this emulator, it slows the game down crazy. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, jeez. That's it? It's an ugly looking thing. What is this supposed to be? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to settle for level 6. If that didn't do it, I'll bring... Pinello into the group and try another quickening chain. And it's down anyway. We're good. <laughs> 